Hi guys! First off, I want to wish you a happy new year. I hope you all enjoyed celebrating the midnight celebration into the new year. Let me know in the comments what you got up to. I want to know. I want to know what you did on the second past midnight. So we're in to 2013. That doesn't sound right to me. 2013. Does that sound right to you? It's going to take me a little while to get used to that. So this video is just going to be a start of the new year and an end of the old one video. Basically it's just going to be me waffling on about the new year. If you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. If you do, thanks! So I think new years are exciting because a lot can happen in a year and a lot can change in a year. If right now you were to think back to how things were at the beginning of 2012 and now think about what is now, there's going to be a lot of things which happened somewhere in between to change from there to there. Keep in mind that a lot of things are going to change from where you're at now to where you'll be next year. So that's pretty exciting to think about, right? There may be a few bumps along the road which you may need to faff about with, but at the end, there's going to be new things and exciting things for you to think about. That's exciting, right? Right? No? Okay. That's why I think having goals and things you want to achieve for 2014 Oh my god, that sounds even weirder to say 14. I think that's a very important thing to do Do you? Do you? Yes, you do. I do as well So, that is why I asked for a big fat journal for Christmas I asked for a big whopper Well, it's not that big, but it's pretty big for me that sounded sexual. Basically, I asked for a journal with lots of room for you to write about your day. You can put any day you want. So you can go on for pages and pages on one day if you really wish to. Basically, I got myself a journal so I could concentrate on goals and things I'm trying to achieve. And at the beginning of my journal, I did a bucket list. 2013 bucket list. Things to do and achieve by 2014. So if you yourself didn't ask for a journal for Christmas because you're not sad like I am, I strongly suggest you go out in the sales right now and go buy one. If you haven't yet made some goals or things to achieve by the end of the year, you're not too late. You can go start it now. You can grab yourself a pen and paper. Do it right now. I'll give you some of mine to give you some ideas. I'm not going to tell you all of mine because some are quite private, but they will be shared with you by the end of the year if I achieve them. So, goals and achievements. In 2013, I would like to reach 15,000 subscribers. I would also like to partner with Channel Flip. I would like to open a PO box, not because I want to, but you guys have suggested it to me. Some of you guys have gone out and brought stuff which you then found out you couldn't actually give to me so I felt kind of bad so I thought what the hell I'm gonna scrap up some money and I'm gonna open a PO box sometime in 2013. I'm going to start university I hate saying that but I'm going to do it. I'm gonna collaborate with five other youtubers I'm gonna try and reach five. If any of you have any suggestions on who you think I should collaborate with let me know in the comments. If you want to collaborate with me let me know in the comments. Have my very own intro and theme tune you wait, all right? This channel's gonna look so fly. Produce my own YouTube schedule. I don't know if any of you remember, but I said in a video a while ago, I hate making schedules. But the thing I'm trying to say is that I'm not going to do any scheduled videos ever. If I do it in the future, good luck to me, that's all I can say. But the thing about YouTube is sometimes you have to make a schedule. Schedules are a good thing, they bring more audience, it's just a good thing to do if you want to have a successful show running on your channel. So I'm going to be doing it, although I hate it so much, I'm going to make one, I'm going to try and stick with it, and by the time 2014 starts, I want to say that i done it. Yeah! I got a schedule now. Save 30 to 40 pounds every month. That doesn't sound a lot, but compared to what I'm saving now every month, it is. Because at the end of every month, I am skint. Okay, so obviously most of them in the bucket list were about YouTube, but that's because I wanted to share my YouTube-y type ones with you. Um, but if you do have any of your own goals and things you want to achieve by next year, let me know what they are in the comments. I would love to read them and I could get some ideas from your little comments down here about what I could possibly achieve as well as you guys saying that you want to achieve it. We can 
share the goals together. So now I just want to finish off the video with not just a thanks for watching guys, but a thanks for sticking around, subscribing, liking, favouriting, following and watching all of my past videos. Thank you for commenting, thank you for posting video responses, posting photos for me to look at on Twitter, anything you've ever said to me, any way you've ever communicated to me, any way you've ever taken part into anything on my channel. I want to thank you. I know that I'm not the biggest person on YouTube but I think that my channel has come a long way in a year. 2012 was definitely a year I think which has boosted my channel and I wouldn't have been able to do that or say that without you guys. So whether you found me in 2012 or whether you stuck around with me in 2012, thank you so much and don't forget to stick around because good things are going to happen. I've got some good things in store and I want you to be there with me throughout the journey and thank you for being there with me through the journey we've already been on. And once again, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it, don't forget to comment and let me know what your goals are, or let me know what you've done for the new year. You can also follow me on Twitter and Tumblr, or you can like me on my Facebook page. And I really hope that throughout 2013, you will be happy, healthy, and everything will go wonderful for you.